Last month, we talked about the power of data management, and this month, we're going to be looking at incident response planning and what your business can do to create an effective incident response plan. My name is Amanda. I am the Director of Sales and Marketing here at Data Branch, and we have a mission to help businesses secure and protect their critical business assets and utilize technology to help achieve business goals. We primarily serve clients throughout Western New York and Northwestern Pennsylvania and would love to help you look at your business security and how to develop an incident response plan. So what are we going to be talking about today? Today we're going to look at what is an incident response plan, how the growing cybersecurity threat landscape leads businesses to need an incident response plan, why it's important, what the key components are, the four stages of NIST incident response life cycle, and some implementation strategies and best practices when you're looking at doing incident response planning for your business. An incident response plan serves as a blueprint for your team to handle cybersecurity incidents effectively. It can consists of a written set of documents with procedures for your team to detect, respond to, and recover from a cybersecurity incident. A standardized plan brings consistency and ensures that everyone on your team understands what to do in the event of a breach. The cyber threat landscape is rapidly evolving, and it's demanding that businesses be vigilant and proactive. Businesses like yours are up against a lot. Some examples are you know, ransomware attacks that pose a serious risk to your business, as they are widely common now and you need to take proactive steps to secure your data, train your team, and constantly look for vulnerabilities. AI-powered cyber attacks are becoming more widespread. Cyber criminals are now leveraging AI to launch more sophisticated cyber attacks. And IoT vulnerabilities continue to be an area that can expose your business to costly exploits. Any unsecured smart device from a security camera to a thermostat can be hacked by attackers to exploit your network. And supply chain attacks are also on the rise, and businesses today more than ever are relying on third-party suppliers. A compromised vendor can expose your business to a cyber attack, but you can help mitigate risk by making sure that you vet all of your third-party suppliers, especially on the security side. Overall, securing your business shouldn't feel like walking through a minefield. It is good to stay informed and to always have a plan. Having an incident response plan is so crucial for your business for many reasons. You know, number one, it helps you protect your sensitive data. An incident response plan protects your business critical information, customer data, and assets by outlining measures for detection and response. Number two, it helps limit damage. A proactive response plan lets you swiftly contain a cyber attack, preventing further damage to your business critical data, systems, or reputation. It can also minimize financial loss and downtime. By outlining a clear plan of action, you can ensure your systems are up and running quickly, thereby minimizing downtime and financial loss. It also allows you to uncover security gaps. It can help you easily identify weaknesses or security gaps that you can fix them before they're exploited by hackers. And lastly, maintain compliance. Having a documented plan ensures you meet industry regulations and legal requirements, which can potentially save you from hefty fines and legal repercussions. And we're seeing this more and more in many of the compliance and regulatory bodies. You know, a simple plan is better than no plan at all. And here's how you can, you know, achieve an incident response plan. Number one, establish a response team. You want to look at identifying key members on your team from various departments, such as IT and legal, to establish your response team, providing them with the necessary training and a clear set of communication protocols. A quick and coordinated response will help you minimize the damage in the event of a cyber attack when time is of the essence. Number two, identify threats and vulnerabilities. When you go through an incident response planning session, you're able to keep yourself updated about all of the evolving cyber threats that can hurt your business. By understanding those risks, you can help avoid potential cyber attacks. And then developing a response procedure. We recommend creating a playbook with a clear set of instructions. 
you know, when a cybersecurity incident happens, a lot of times things can be hectic and crazy as you're trying to, you know, rapidly respond and remediate. Having that playbook, sharing it with your team, training them on how to follow each step listed in the document can help immensely. And lastly, conducting testing and updates. By regularly simulating real world scenarios to test the effectiveness of your plan, you can make sure that everything is in it that will be needed during an emergency. And then you can refine it based on lessons you learned during those testing sessions and your evolving business needs. At Data Branch, we recommend following a cybersecurity framework like NIST. And based on this framework, there are some steps businesses like yours can adopt to strengthen their cybersecurity. You know, number one stage is preparation and planning. As we've discussed, identifying your business critical assets, building a response team with designated roles, getting the necessary tools, and developing a system for classifying incidents based on their potential impact is step one. Step two is detection and analysis. This is where you implement processes to address specifically targeted attacks, such as those involving external media like USB drives or social engineering and malicious emails. By having specific processes in place, you can improve your response time and reduce potential damage. Containment, eradication, and recovery. During an incident, you need to be decisive in your actions. As soon as an incident is detected, you want to take quick measures to contain the threat by isolating the affected area. Then you can look at neutralizing the root cause and restoring your systems to resume business operations. You definitely want to make sure as part of your incident response planning that you have your critical business data secured, backed up, and protected in the event that you need to restore from it. And then post-incident activities. Following an incident, you want to conduct a thorough investigation to understand you know, where the lapse happened and then identify those weaknesses in your defenses and implement improvements to strengthen your cybersecurity posture. So what are some of the things that you could look to implement to have a successful incident response plan strategy? Number one is prioritizing those business critical assets. You need to know what they are so that you can determine how you're going to protect them best. For some businesses, this could be your financial records, your customer data, or your intellectual property. And based on how important each level of data is, you can prioritize their protection within your incident response plan. And then you want to build a dedicated team. Having a dedicated team that includes personnel from all departments, IT, legal, communications, and then make sure that everyone understands their roles and responsibilities so that if the incident response plan needs to go into place, it is comprehensive and you have coordinated efforts across your organization. Once the team is created, you wanna make sure that you train them. Regular training and simulated drills can help your team understand their roles and responsibilities, which enhances their proficiency to handle critical situations if the plan needs to go into place. We also recommend having continuous monitoring on your IT systems. Vigilant monitoring minimizes risks of cyber threats. By implementing continuous monitoring systems on your endpoints, on your email, on your cloud applications, you can detect potential security incidents promptly, allowing you to respond quickly and minimize the damage. And then communicate effectively. The success of your response plan hinges on how well your team can coordinate during an emergency. By knowing your clear communication channels and protocols, you can ensure that everyone is informed and coordinated during an incident. And then lastly, develop a system to categorize your incidents. By developing a system to categorize based on impact, you can steer the response plan in the right direction. Different incidents require different levels of response, and this will help you allocate resources based on the specific threat level. So how can Data Branch help with incident response planning? You know, number one, we can help with expert guidance. We can help your organization get a response plan together that aligns with the unique business needs and objectives of your organization. We can then look at identifying vulnerabilities and prioritizing response. By conducting thorough risk assessments, we can identify potential weaknesses in your systems and data, and based on the risk report, 
will look to create a solid incident response plan. Building a highly professional response team. You know, when you partner with Data Branch, you have our service and engineering team on your side in the event of a security incident. And we can help provide a professional response team that will be available for you. Improve your, your detection and response capabilities. You know, by implementing our foundation security stack, you can start to build a strong cybersecurity environment for your business, including detection components for your email and your endpoints. And continuous monitoring. By having continuous monitoring implemented on your systems, you're better, you're in a better place to detect and mitigate threats before they can harm your business. Along with compliance support. You know, many regulatory bodies are requiring organizations to show their incident response plan in preparation for being certified or being compliant. And, you know, we can help build an incident response plan that meets these legal and regulatory requirements and show you how to adhere to relevant industry standards and data privacy regulations. And then enhancing your response plan. After a security incident, we can help you learn from the experience by identifying weaknesses and implementing improvements to strengthen your overall cybersecurity posture. We truly see ourselves as part of your IT team and part of your business and want to help make sure that if you're ever in the situation where you need to respond to a security incident, you have a plan in place and good resources on your side to minimize damage. To conclude, you know, if you would like to discuss incident response planning and how Data Branch can help protect your critical assets and ensure your business continuity, please give us a call or reach out to us via email. Um, we would love to set up a time to talk with you and see what we can do to help. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And, you know, the big takeaway is you want to have a plan. We all are vulnerable to incidents, especially in the ever-changing cybersecurity climate, and having an incident response plan in place can help immensely. Thank you.